Have you ever thought about who the worst bounty hunters in Star Wars are? Like the ones that just absolutely suck at their jobs? I think the worst bounty hunter in all of Star Wars is Greedo. Imagine shooting first and still getting owned by Han Solo. Greedo isn't alone though. In Attack of the Clones, a bounty hunter called Zan Wessel was hired to kill Padme. First, she tried to bomb Padme's ship, but it didn't kill Padme. And since Padme was able to escape the bombing, she got Anakin and Obi-Wan to be our Jedi bodyguards, just in case anything else happened. Zam must have completely forgotten she'd be dealing with Jedi, when she tries to use poison bugs to kill Padme in her sleep. So aside from leading Anakin and Obi-Wan on an awesome chase through Coruscant, Zam kinda sucks as a bounty hunter. Okay, but this next bounty hunter is really stupid. We're talking negative IQ here. Coming in at number 10 on my list is this bounty hunter named Bulldoga, and he only has one short appearance in the Clone Wars show. Basically, he totally copied Cad Bane's outfit and style, and when they met in real life, Cad Bane didn't like it. So Cad Bane shoots and kills Bulldoga just so he can take his hat. Pretty pitiful if you ask me. It's a nice hat. At number 9 on my list, I've got a very controversial opinion here, so you guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments. But I've got Boba Fett here. I know what you're thinking. How could you possibly put such a legendary bounty hunter like Boba this far down on the list? Well, let me explain. First of all, in most of Boba's cinematic appearances, he just doesn't do that much. In the prequels, he's just this annoying kid following Jango Fett around. The same goes for the Clone Wars show. I cannot stand Kid Boba. He gets on my last nerve. Boy, you have no idea who you're talking to. I have been in charge of this whole operation. You have no idea who you are talking to. And in his show, The Book of Boba Fett, and in The Mandalorian show, he's just this nice old guy. Nothing like the menacing legendary bounty hunter that he's supposed to be. And in his short appearances when he's in his prime in the original trilogy, he doesn't do much either. His fall into the Sarlacc in Return of the Jedi was a really random way for a bounty hunter of his caliber to be taken out. Next, we've got some much better bounty hunters coming up. At number 8 on this list, I have the bounty hunter Dengar. You might remember his short appearance on the Executor in The Empire Strikes Back, but he's actually done a lot more than that. By reputation, he's a famous bounty hunter, but we actually get to see him in action in The Clone Wars Season 4 Episode 20. He and his team successfully complete their mission, and we get to see his fighting skills firsthand. In another episode, that same bounty hunter team goes up against Darth Maul and Savage, and they hold their own against the Sith. You probably don't know this, but he actually makes a brief appearance at Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi. In the Star Wars lore, Dengar is the one who rescues Boba Fett from the Sarlacc and nurses him back to a good health. What a good guy! At number 7, we've got Bosk. While he doesn't appear much, similar to Dengar, he's still a really cool bounty hunter. If you've ever played Star Wars Battlefront or Battlefront 2, Bosk probably has a special place in your heart. He's so much fun to play with. Aside from the fact that Bosk is a Trandoshan and he looks really cool, he's also a great bounty hunter. He's one of the hunters that Vader recruits to hunt down Han Solo in Episode 5. Bosk is in the same episodes of the Clone Wars that Dengar is in. In those episodes, Bosk completely destroys his opponents on the train before he gets knocked off. Then, he helps a disguised Obi-Wan break out of prison with Cad Bane. Bosk is able to take out multiple clone troopers with just his bare hands, which is insane. In an earlier episode, Bosk and Aura Singh even take down an entire Republic attack cruiser and take the higher ranking crew hostage. Which brings me to the sixth best bounty hunter, Aura Singh. Aside from a brief appearance in the Phantom Menace at the pod race, Aura Singh is pretty much only in the Clone War show, but she does a lot. As I said before, she worked with Bosk to take down the Republic cruiser. She also does this with the help of young Boba Fett, who she personally trained. Aura Singh's training is why Boba Fett is such a great hunter. She also worked with Cad Bane to take the Senate hostage in order to free Zero the Hutt in Season 1 of the Call Wars. Their plan would have worked if Anakin Skywalker hadn't been there. Because of Padme, of course. Later, she goes on a solo mission to assassinate Padme, and fails, but only because Ahsoka has premonitions of Aura's plan. Ahsoka and Aura also fight on multiple occasions, and Aura holds her own. I'm ranking Aura Singh this high because I think she's one of the few bounty hunters that really stands on business. We don't just hear that she's a great hunter, but we actually get to see her do it in multiple episodes. She's elite in all. As I said before, her plans are only ever foiled by Jedi and sheer luck on their part, and her mentorship to Boba is an extremely important part of her character arc. Next, I've got Embo at number 4. Embo is one of the most aesthetically pleasing bounty hunters. There's so many cool things he has. For starters, he carries a bowcaster, just like Chewbacca. He also wears his iconic metal hat, which he uses as a disc weapon, a shield, and even a sled. He also has a pet dog that follows him around, named Maroc. Another really cool thing you probably don't know is that Dave Filoni, the creator of the Clone Wars show, is actually the voice behind Embo. Utah Maroc. What I like about Embo is that he works really well as a solo hunter, but he also does well with a team. Early on in the show, he works with a group of hunters on Felucia to defend farmers from Hondo's gang. I mean, look at this insane kill right here. Wah. Uh, 
Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Ahsoka happen to crash on the planet, so they help out too. So we get to see Imbo on the good side at one point. He also works with Dengar, Bosk, and others on behalf of the Huts to try to kill Darth Maul. While they don't kill him, they put up a good fight. He's also part of the crew that makes it through Dooku's trial called The Box in order to find the best bounty hunters to try to assassinate Chancellor Palpatine. Embo is part of that team. If it weren't for Obi-Wan being undercover, they would have succeeded. In his last appearance, he is sent to Scipio to hunt down Rush Clovis, who's with Padme and Anakin. In this scene, he uses his hat as a sled and chases them almost to their deaths. If it weren't for miraculous timing on Anakin's part, Embo would have won that fight. Embo held his own with Anakin throughout the encounter. Alright, and now we're down to our top four. These are the best bounty hunters in all Star Wars, by far. In fourth place, I've got Mando, whose name is Din Djarin. We're told that Mando was already a great and renowned bounty hunter before he found Baby Yoda, but that's when things get really interesting. He's able to not only be a good caretaker for Grogu, but also manages to get past numerous Imperial attacks, blow up Imperial bases, and battle death troopers and dark troopers. That's not to mention his other dealings with bounty hunters the Imperials hired, and disagreements with pirates. We can attribute some of his success to plot armor, but there's no doubting that Mando is an elite bounty hunter in his own right, and it helps the Espeskar armor. Now for my top three. In third place, I've got Asajj Ventress. You might be thinking, Master Eli, what are you saying right now? Ventress is a Sith. And well, yeah, you'd be right. But you might have forgotten that after Dooku betrays her, she's forced to make a life for herself. In order to make some cash, she goes into a life of crime, or rather, bounty hunting. Because of her powers, ingenuity, and skill, Ventress is a really good bounty hunter. Remember that episode I told you about where Dengar and Bosk worked together on a team? Yeah, Ventress was on that team too. She realized that the prisoner they were guarding was going to be forced to marry the tyrant of that planet. So, in typical Ventress fashion, she decides to switch the prisoner with Boba Fett, finessing the tyrant. Then, she takes the child prisoner back to her brother and collects an extra fee from him. And in another episode, she tries to hunt down Savage because there was a bounty on his head. In a random coincidence, when she finds Savage, she finds Obi-Wan as their prisoner. It looks like I'm here to rescue you. When did you become the good guy? Don't insult me. She ends up saving Obi-Wan's life and they fight Savage and Maul together, barely escaping. Just off those episodes alone, and because of her insane force abilities and skill, she gets in the top three. And coming in at number two, we've got the original clone trooper himself, Jango Fett. While we don't see much of him in Attack of the Clones, it's clear that he's an elite bounty hunter. He puts up a really good fight against Obi-Wan on Kamino, and basically had him finished. Obi-Wan would have died if it weren't for the passing Oweha. In space over Geonosis, Jango puts up a great fight again, and actually outsmarts Obi-Wan, which allows Dooku to capture Obi-Wan once he lands on Geonosis. In the Geonosian arena, Jango fights really well against Mace Windu, but the chaos of the scene and the beast destroying his jetpack really messed him up for this fight. Clearly, this guy was a specimen. The entire clone army is clones of Jango. Since Jango is responsible for creating the clones that we all know and love, like Cody, Rex, and Fox, this gives him a lot of points in my book. Finally, this guy is the absolute best bounty hunter in all of Star Wars. And you guessed it, it's Cad Bane. Where do I even start? Cad Bane just does so much. Whether it's carrying out bounties, fighting with Jedi, or leading some complex scheme, Cad Bane has done it all. He's been a part of almost all the bounty hunter teams that I mentioned earlier in this video. He helped hold the Senate hostage with Aura Singh. He completed the box and was the leader of the team that tried to assassinate Chancellor Palpatine. But he's also done some crazy stuff on his own, too. In Season 2 of The Clone Wars, he stole a Jedi holocron from the Jedi. Then, he captures Jedi Master Bola Rapal and tortures him until he opens the holocron. For added good measure, he executes Rapal afterward. To top it all off, he fights Ahsoka and captures her, and uses her as bait to lure in Anakin. Smartly, Bane dresses up as a clone trooper and leaves the frigate before things get too serious. Later, he takes on Obi-Wan and Quinlan Voss by himself and evades capture. This fight was insane, and he definitely could have killed either one of them here. He's also one of the few bounty hunters on this list with a large role in live-action Star Wars. In the Book of Boba Fett, Cad Bane ends up being the main antagonist, and he's portrayed perfectly. He ruthlessly kills the leader of the town in order to lure out Boba. He completely destroyed Boba in a 1v1 fight that was set up like a western shootout, which was super cool. It's only after he becomes overconfident in his apparent victory that he is defeated by Boba. And knowing the way Disney has messed up lightsabers, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Cad Bane is still alive. Rumors suggest he is still alive following the events of Book of Boba Fett. Cad Bane is so iconic because of his outfit. His hat, jacket, and boots are all super cool. His jetpack boots are something that's totally unique to Cad Bane. His double pistol combo is lethal, and he draws faster than anyone in the galaxy. He also comes equipped with a flamethrower on his wrist, just like the Mandalorians. His cold personality and demeanor are also what makes him the best bounty hunter. His persona stays consistent throughout the Clone Wars show, and it translated very well into live action. I'd be careful where I was sticking my nose if I were you. But what do you think? Who's the best bounty hunter in the galaxy, in your opinion? Let me know in the comments down below. Check out the video on the screen right now if you enjoyed this video. I know you'll love it.